Dave Stallman here from Black Powder again. I wanted to review one of our product lines. Don't know if you know what this is, but it's K-cups or single serve pods as we like to call them. And um, of course we do a black powder style. We just can't be you know, regular old style. So here at Black Powder, we, uh, we partnered early on with a company by the name of iFill out of uh, Seattle area with a 100% recyclable single serve pod. And so we've been through some transitions with them as, uh, as Kirk released their 2.0 series, we had to you know, switch gears a little bit. But uh, in the end, we, we have a great product that we're able to load at 12 and a half grams per cup. And so a lot of people don't realize, you know, the, 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 the cake cups you buy in the grocery store. There are different price points for them. There are different weights in them as well. And so, um, you know, the most standard weight is either 7.3 or 8.5. Uh, that seems to be the standard we're seeing on a lot of the commercially available K-Cups. And of course, they do not have a little lid on them and they're usually not 100% recyclable. And so, again, we want to be different, but we want to produce a cup of coffee that is rich and creamy and tastes great. So by partnering with, with iFill, not only do we have uh, you know, this neat little system here that we hand load six at a time, basically we have a handle and it slides to the grounds and drops it into the cup. And then we flip it and actually roll it on a surface to go ahead and seal it. There's a little, little glue bead right there in the corner. But the really neat part about this technology is not just the fact that you get more, 12 and a half grams versus eight, about 38% for those of you curious. Um, I think we actually put it in our K-cup box somewhere. Huh, 35% more, we actually put it on the lid itself. But, but the point is that K-cups can produce a very good cup of coffee, almost a great, but uh, it'll never replace a pour over with controlled temperature. Uh, most Keurig machines might start brewing it at 200, but uh, many of them start brewing at 194 and when they end, uh, depending on if you press 12 ounce, eight ounce or four ounce, um, they end at a temperature closer to 160, especially with the 12 ounce variety. Again, we love science. It's part of what black powder is about is getting rid of the conversation of um, facts over fiction. And so our kick up here uh, actually has, I'm gonna pull this out. It's not paper, this is actually plastic. And what this enables us to do is with this filtration method, first of all, well, they can't tell, but that basket goes the whole way to the bottom of the cup. Most K-cups have paper in there and they stop somewhere about here because the needle that comes through the bottom will pierce the paper and you'll get grounds all through your cup. This technology allows us to totally use the entire cup to fill it up with coffee grinds. And by controlling the porosity, or the amount of holes in the plastic, we're able to get the grounds to tumble as the cup is made. So again, using every one. If you tear apart a K-cup after it's been used, lots of times there'll be a channel right through the middle of it where the water went from the top side, hot side to the cold side, and it uses the grounds it can as it goes along there, but there's no tumbling. So I feel with a bunch of smart guys, uh, they figured out how to get the tumbling to go on and to use more coffee. And that's the real magic behind our product is a great tasting cup of coffee from the Keurig available in your box of dynamite. You know, that's why we, uh, the, you, you'll see the edges uh, have, that, have that type of thing on it. Nice little write up on the back on mining a richer cup. But uh, again, just wanted to give you a little quick review on uh, K cups or single serve cups as we call them from black powder. Oh, one last thing, we are 2.0 compliant. That is the reflectivity of the ink on the edge of the lid. It reflects back to an eye actually in the top of your Keurig machine. So these are 2.0 compliant. And um, again, make yourself a rich cup of coffee today. Thank you.